Uh, it, the sticks, they always go loose left and right way before. Oh. Ban Enko. Oh, actually? Yo, dank. Here, can you talk for a sec? I gotta, I gotta check something upstairs. I just forgot. Oh wow, just ran in there. And oh no, the ankle. Oh. Oh, I think he, he thought about grabbing it and then he changed his mind and just caught there. Come on, oh no. Oh, that kills on that level with that percent? Oh. Ooh, starting combat. Ooh. Oh, no, yeah. Too far away to, to run in and grab. You get jab up smashed. I need to read it the ledge. Yeah, there we go. That was really easy to chase across. And now we're just hanging out with the up tilts. Oh, good. <laughs> it's just a ground and laser. I don't have to get scared. Oh, yep. Forward air at the side platform. Yeah, jab up smash. <laughs> oh, I like the way that he did that when he waited to do the up air. There's a lot more potential to start a combo. And yeah, attack away. Or attack towards, I guess. Ooh, that was a good way to pressure a shield on the platform because it pushed him across instead of off. He ended up getting a back throw for it. And that back throw, not hitting any lasers. Oh, good. Just speedy enough. Uh, I think he wanted to up smash that mid. Could be 100% wrong. Uh, same as soon as if almost did it, but ledge mechanics. Good. It was really good to wait to do the up air there. Ah, uh, he wanted to <laughs> chase the tech away. GT knows. Ooh, really, really awesome spacing out of both of them. Getting retreating aerials and... Ah! Uh -huh. Yeah. Where is that? Now it's back. Ooh, <laughs> it's so tough when Fox comes off like that to space a back air. The forward is just way huger than you think. It comes out faster. But there we go. He just landed on the stage and got grabbed. 69. Hey. Ah, it's gone now. The magical power has been released. Ooh, really nice sweet spot. He's gonna have to play a bit of a waiting game. But Fox is really fast. You gotta, like not fuck around too much. Okay, did the platform? Oh, really good. Yeah. That got him safe. Oh, uh, smash, what are you doing? Oh. Spaghetti. Alright, he's chilling out. Yeah, he's super chill, actually. <laughs> What? Oh no, no, no. I think he wanted to pass fall, but he didn't. And then there it is. Is that game one? Uh, should have been, yeah. 
Oh, it, was, okay. it was the same game. So. Okay. Why don't you just you scoot over? Uh, Barkman Fox. Okay. All right. <laughs> uh, no, Bark didn't go in that. <laughs> oh, wait, yeah, he did. Yeah, yeah he did. Correct. Yeah. Bark confirmed would have won $100 off of GT. <laughs> That was a long game one. It was a really long game. They went in the last stock and then they just sat around a lot. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> like, man, I like thought I had uh, some eBay auctions about to end. I went upstairs and it's it was like 9.30 Pacific time. Oh. I was like, ah. <laughs> <laughs> now I have to Three stay more up. Hours. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I don't have to stay up, but you, I, I want to know if I won instantly. Yeah. The whole like waiting to bid thing is kind of dumb. Yeah, betting last second, sniping. There's like, well, there's no, there's like no point in doing that because you set a max bid anyway. Yeah, so like, even if someone outbids you, it just automatically bids again, yeah. up to your max. So if people actually use that function, then sniping's not really an issue. Yo, this fox though. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it is really nuts seeing all the foxes come out. And I was playing Days Fox a bunch, and then as soon as I played Barks, it was completely different. Yeah, I bet. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, played that all day, and now I don't know the matchup again. So only one of us actually plays Fox. <laughs> well, LD doesn't count. Yeah. Dude, he doesn't know his percents. <laughs> 77 would have worked. Oh, is it 77? I don't know. I ah. Dave was saying 79. After so this match, it might be. 120, definitely. Yeah. <laughs> Anywhere on the stage. <laughs> <laughs> he first grabbed three times. Yeah, Josh, Sebula says play a game with a shoe on your head. I don't, <laughs> I don't get it. It's but to prove that you're real. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> Dane listening to his audiobook. <laughs> Is there an option to turn down your opponent's audiobook? <laughs> turn down the volume. <laughs> there should be. <laughs> oh, the DI saves him. Yeah. Nice. I don't know if he had, could have had some help from being close to the ledge there. Yeah, yeah, it was ledge yeah. DI. Mm -hmm. Like, if, if you get pushed all the way up against the ledge and someone, like, forward smashes you or whatever, up smashes you, down smashes you, you can DI into that ledge yeah. um, and it'll save you. So it's actually a bad idea. Let's say you break someone's shield. If you you don't want to push them all the way to the edge. Yeah. They can actually save themselves. Yeah, you could just up smash them there and then they DI to the center stage. Yeah. And <laughs> I mean, you probably can just tech chase them. But either way, like, they don't die immediately. Yeah, you're not killing them. Oh, good GT. That, <laughs> that was just irresponsible. <laughs> I find that it's actually really easy to keep turning yourself around against Fox. And then sometimes you actually want to be facing towards the ledge. Because yeah. you're always turning yourself around as Pikachu. You get ready to back air. But then when he's going to fast fall, you can take way better advantage of that by facing forward. Oh, yeah. Yo, GT, get wrecked. GT oh, guys, home. <laughs> <laughs> that was that was rough. Pull up the license plate. <laughs>